Hello friends, welcome back to She's In Her Apron. And I'd like to thank Audible for sponsoring today's video. Hello, welcome back. If you are new here, I am Kimmy, and I would love for you to be a part of our family here at She's In Her Apron. I invite you to hit the subscribe button down below. And for all of you as well, hit the bell notification so you know when I upload. Okay, today I'm hoping to motivate you to organize a spot in your home maybe that you've been ignoring for a while. I have to admit, I've been ignoring this space in my home for about two months. We moved our home office from a bedroom upstairs down to the family room in this corner that we have that we just weren't utilizing. So once we did that, I haven't had time to organize it the way that I want. I did organize the bookshelf, but nothing else. And now it's time to get life back together before school starts. So this is my home office. Let me share with you the before. things that I didn't go through when I moved the office down I just put things in buckets and bags and now it's time to go through it all and find everything a home and pitch what needs to be pitched and so I'm going to be sharing with you my home office how I've been organizing it the systems that I've had in place for years and new systems that I'm putting in and maybe give you some motivation and ideas of what you could do in your home okay guys come with me today let's get busy aprons on let's go so I need motivation to get going on a project and I have mentioned here before that I love listening to things as I work and of course I listen to a book and I used audible so audible has an unmatched selection of audiobooks unlike a streaming or rental service with audible you own your books and this is what I love about audible audible carries titles in business classics, fiction, history, romance, mysteries, thrillers, sci-fi, and lots for the kids. They have free apps for your iPhone, iPad, Android, and Windows Phone. And if you didn't like what you listened to, you can swap it out. A lot to keep you motivated while working on a project or want to relax. So on our recent road trip, I started The Anatomy of Peace. And while working on the office, I finished up that book. It was so good. It was a great read as a parent. I was able to see me in a different light and how I come off to my kids and things that I want to work on. It was so good. I highly recommend it. So now I have some new tools in my mommy tool belt to help me out. So Audible is offering you, my friends, a 30-day trial and your first audiobook is free. Just go to audible.com slash apron or you can text apron to 500-500. So that's audible.com slash apron or text apron to 500-500.
So you've probably seen me throw some things in two bins while cleaning up the office. The basket on the right is for things to be brought upstairs and put in their homes. This one on the left is to put into the craft closet here down in the family room. Okay, here is the desk. Um, this is my paper station. I've had this for uh, about, well, probably about a year or so where I put in incoming mail or bills that I need to take action on and they go here. Um, sometimes to send them out they'll go here or I'll just sit them right here but I usually send them out as soon as I'm done dealing with important papers. So when I sort through my mail and I have a video on this the things I need to take care of go right in here. And then this unit I got from Costco. Here is where I keep my sticker books for my planner. Here are letters from you guys and I sit down once a week and start answering your letters. And then here are notepads here and then some more stickers. And then here is my She's in Her Apron pad that I got from Erin Condren and helps me keep track of what I'm working on for vlogging. I take notes every week um, and I start scheduling out what I want to film and how I want to film it. Uh, this light I just turned on I got at Walmart for five bucks. Yeah, I love it. So it's a, it puts out a lot of light. And then here is that filing um, top that goes over there. So I have here my budget binder and my folders and they are filed according to um, things for the home, things for the kids, YouTube and, and things like that. So here is how the drawer turned out. Still has a lot of stuff in it but it's cleaned. And then here is where I keep all my electronic stuff for YouTube. Under the desk is where I keep the garbage can and the paper shredder so I could shred immediately. Here's my silver play button from YouTube that I have right above my desk and uh, it keeps me motivated. And then my friend made me this. She was so sweet. Um, it has the date that I started YouTube and this is a great motivator for me above my desk with the word inspire. So I'm going to add more pictures of the kids in here, but right now I just put a Cali Senior picture up, and right here it says, Pray more, worry less, from Matthew 6, 34. I love that scripture. And behind here, you see this box. This is where I keep all the little like notes that I get from friends and from Derek. Here I have some organizing books, some from my good friends, Cass, some Clutterbug, um, and uh, some organizing books here that I love and will reference to. Here I have some thank you cards that I send out to you guys. This tray, all these trays, by the way, I have gotten from the Dollar Tree, including the one on my desk. So you don't have to spend a lot to organize your office. This tray is where I keep the printer paper for right here, my printer. Um, sayings on the wall, and I just decorated the top up here. Here is my word for the year, B, but I found this cute um, they made it look like a bee, you know, like the bee. So I have that there to remind me of my word of the year. And here is my bookcase. So now, um, what I've done is I separated a lot of our books. We have another bookcase here in the family room. Um, but this is where I kind of put most of my stuff that I go to here and then some church books. And then on the other bookcase is Derek's books. So what I did was I grabbed some bins from Walmart to hide all those extra things that I have in my office that they need a home but I have nowhere to put them. So I have these bins and what I have inside them um, is like I have memorabilia in this one. In the majority of these are packages and letters um, like packages that I got from you guys that I'm working on thank you cards for um, and a lot of you have received thank you cards from me and letters I keep all of your letters and I try to get back to all of you and I just dedicate like an hour once a week to send you guys some love back so if you have sent me something or a letter um, you are gonna get one back it just takes time <laughs> so I, there's quite a few things there's more electronics here um, some personal things here so that way um, it doesn't clutter up the office uh, here I have a bike that I could sit and it's aimed at my computer so I could put a movie on and work out here I do keep my light here I gotta bring it back I was, I was using it to film this so um, I keep my big light here so this is our game closet and I was able to purge a lot of stuff and move things over to this side 
and this has the rest of our things that we have um, that we had in our office paper supplies um, tons of arts and crafts stuff that we have that's stored on this side in the closet here in the family room so here is um, the home office just in the little corner of our basement and it's been working out good and um, I'm just glad it's finally done and it'll stay clean and yes it just feels so good to finally get all those things done thank you so much for joining me today I hope this motivated you in some way and if you have any tips for me of course I would love to hear them please leave them in the comments down below and we'll see you soon bye